session, we're going to talk about your subscription and how to get your license so that you can get up and running. Now that you've finished downloading, it's going to come to your licensing screen. Here you can either request a trial license or use a license key, which is what we're going to do. Let's start by going to support.cloudbees.com and submitting a request. On this form, you're going to have a couple areas to fill out. The purpose of the request, the subject, and the description. Now you'll notice in the subject field, while you're typing, it's going to go ahead and suggest related articles from our existing knowledge base. Now we'll move on to our description field. Normally you would want this to be as specific as possible depending on your issue, but since I'm just requesting a license, I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Next I'm going to set my priority, and since this isn't business critical at the moment, it's normal, and I'm going to hit submit. Alright, since I received an email notification letting me know someone responded to my ticket, I'm going to go take a look at what they said. Jimmy looks like he needs some information for me in order to generate the correct license, so I'm going to go ahead and get that information for him. I'm going to need my instance ID, my account ID, and my organization name. So to get my instance ID, I'm going to go back to my Jenkins environment and copy and paste it from this link right here. My account ID is going to be specific to my domain. This is important if you have a larger organization and you have multiple environments set up. I'm going to be Honeycomb, and then my organization is going to be the company I work for, which is CloudBees. I'm going to finish filling this out, hit submit, and await a reply. Awesome, I got a response, and it's my license key and certificate. What I'm going to do from here is copy and paste that into my Jenkins environment. Something to note is that you are going to need all the dashes at the beginning and the end of the keys and the certificates for them to apply correctly. So let's go ahead and copy those over, hit submit, and welcome to your operation center.